Entrepreneurship is an asset that we have, that we have not exploited fully. It's a potential that we need to begin to, that first we need to be first aware of its importance and its um, economic benefits, and also see it as a tool for sustainable socioeconomic development. Indigenous people know a lot that has been ignored over time. So there are many useful herbs that we have here that we don't exploit. Uh, starting with shea butter, which is now the new gold, it's the, the whole world has now recognized its importance, and they're now demanding it. Um, I, I don't know how well we have developed that market for export. Um, bitter leaf has been patented in the U.S. for curing diabetes. Um, besides curing diabetes, it's a fantastic detoxifier. It helps cure, um, treat hypertension, cholesterol. Um, it's antibacterial, it's antifungal, it has just so many health benefits but I don't see us um, researching it and packaging it. Um, what else? They, they, they whole, even um, bitter cola. Um, in addition to that you also have indigenous systems as I was explaining earlier. Um, the, entrepreneur, the apprenticeship system is not only the best way to develop successful outcomes for entrepreneurs and that's a huge, huge problem today all over the world. The global failure rate of entrepreneurs who have an idea, write a business plan, pitch, get funded, is 90%. These people have been funded. So it's a big mistake when we think that we support entrepreneurship through funding. You don't need money to start a business, that's the truth. It's always better to start small while thinking big and grow gradually. What people need to start a business is training. They need to know what to look out for. They need to know how to organize themselves and they need to work with an existing entrepreneur to understand the way things are done um, and then be ready for funding. Now we could argue that there are new ideas today. So where do you find someone to work with and new ideas? Even with those new ideas, it's best to start from where you are. So when Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook, he didn't start on a large scale. He started from his dorm and kept on evolving Facebook till it became a very big thing. So start small, think big. The most important thing entrepreneurs need is training. And indigenous people understood that, which is why they were using apprenticeship. So typically, people stay with a master for about three to six years, after which they achieve what they call their freedom. And when they start on their own, they're actually very successful because they've done the same thing for about three to six years. They've learned by watching and doing, and now they're ready to start on their own. So there's a lot to learn from the past and evolve. But then again, um, I think that I'm not, it's when you're able to combine modern education with this indigenous knowledge that we're able to bring out about the best of both worlds and grow the solutions in a way that can be commercialized to wider markets and possibly export. So um, it's a good thing to develop managers. That to develop managers, but I've found out that entrepreneurial training produces even better managers. So here at the school, we're gradually looking at making the thrust into developing people with an entrepreneurial mindset, which simply means developing people who have a mindset for creating solutions and continuous improvements. Because the core of entrepreneurship is being a solution provider. That's a real thing. Unfortunately, most people think entrepreneurship is about how to make money for myself. And people with that mindset tend to fail. If you look at the best entrepreneurs in the world, the wealthiest in the world, not for themselves, they all set out to create solutions that have been so good that the rest of the world is demanding those solutions and that has led them to become super wealthy. So as I said before, it's really about training. Once you understand the fundamentals of entrepreneurship, it's easier for you to be successful as an entrepreneur.